Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you are having an awesome day. Thank you for stopping by. If you are new here and not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I have a lot of content coming up. Uh, ring the bell notification so you can get a notification when I drop a new video. Go ahead and comment down below anything you want to say and like the video if you would. Uh, today I have a small unboxing with a overview to do. This package is a little big to get all the way on screen. So we'll just kind of wing it here. But there should be a knife in here. That is a leather sheath for my new CRKT hatchet. That is a portable drive. And that is the knife. This we don't really need. I got this. Uh, it's a one terabyte uh, external memory card. So my kids are getting into playing video games and I needed some extra space on my Xbox and these got very good reviews these Buffalo one and two terabyte drives so I will see how that goes next up oh yeah I'm carrying my Maverick which I haven't really put down since I got it back love this bad boy and I also had the CJRB pyrite this thing is awesome I put it through quite a bit of stuff today and it did phenomenal very well done <clears throat> from CJRB very well done like I said, this is a leather slip for, let me make some space here, for this guy, which I did a short, I did uh, uh, get the head on properly, and then this will help in stabilizing the head and making sure it doesn't go anywhere plus it looks cool and it's fire cord on top of cordage so it really uh makes it aesthetically look better and it comes in useful there's crkt's little <clears throat> little uh Ooh, that's gonna you can actually get these leather ooh yeah whoop damn keep hitting it that looks awesome so that is the new leather sheath for the hatchet that looks awesome now I can get rid of that little rubber ordeal but that looks sweet I am going to sand off this uh, varnish or whatever they got on here and then I'm gonna flame it uh, so that way it'll the grain will darken up throughout the wood it should look pretty cool uh, this wood is a little lighter, uh, but it should still show up pretty good. 
I have quite a few days off coming up, so that will be one of my projects. And now the main star of the show is this SOG. I only have one of SOG's newer knives, which is the Vision XR. I wanted to pick up one of their other newer knives. Now this is more of their budget line. Uh, I think this was 50 bucks, I think. This is like their version of the bug out. It is the uh, Terminus. They got red, green, all kinds of different colors. Boy, that's pretty good. Uh, I really like how SOG does their access lock. How you unlock it. It's, it's very comfortable. It's got layering, like stepping. And then a nice little cone at the top. So it's easy to grab onto. Uh, some companies are better than others with that. I would have to say SOG is one of the best when it comes to doing the crossbar lock. At least out of the two that I've had. Uh, but like I said, this is the Terminus. You can get these on Amazon for like 50, between like 40 and 60 bucks. It depends on if they're having a sale or whatever. Uh, sometimes there's percentages off. Um, it just kind of depends. Whoops, sorry for hitting the camera. That was the first one I got there, the Vision XR. It's a Tanto. And we might as well get this guy out. There is your Benchmade bug out. The S90V in carbon fiber. They are almost identical. It looks like the bug out has a touch more blade. Yeah, a little bit more blade. But, now Benchmade's access lock is comfortable. Uh, I wish these kind of protruded a little more. Uh, but it still works good. It's comfortable. Uh, can't really complain about it. Uh, there's definitely some companies who do it worse. And a couple who do it better. Uh... But SOGS, this one is so broken in, it's it's amazing. Uh, very smooth. Uh, you can hold the knife straight up, you can hold it straight out, and it wants to go home every time. That's pretty impressive. Uh, so I wanted to get another another uh sog to try out because i always did like sog uh they kind of went away for a little while but it seems like they are coming back uh with a fire so we'll see if they keep it up i do like that rear flipper tab how it's kind of pushed up yeah, so you could do, yeah, you can push button it, or you can light switch it, and then you have your thumb studs, boy, that's got, that's got a strong, strong detent on it, or it's a little bit of stick, maybe, actually, so you do have a cryo D2 blade, Studies and Observations Group, Terminus XR. Uh, you have a drop point blade, little swedge at the top, a little bit of jimping. Uh, for 50 bucks average, I would say this is a good deal. 
Uh, I think these are made in Taiwan. Oh boy. They put a hell of an edge on this. Uh, if I'm being honest, the terminate or the uh, the vision came sharp, but it wasn't it wasn't like this. This is very good. Very good. I don't know, it's kind of uh, it's kind of odd to me. Uh some companies you think you're going to get a knife from them and have an outstanding edge and then it's just kind of a working edge. It's not it's sharp, but it's not real sharp, but then companies you're like, oh, "I don't know if it's going to be very sharp or not." They end up coming like this. I mean, this thing could shave little, look at that. That's impressive. That's, that's pretty damn good. That's amazing. Very good edge on that guy. Look at the little fine granules. Very well done on the edge. So we will move on. As I said, this is SOG's XR lock, crossbar lock. Uh, it's very comfortable. Oh yeah, it already feels like it's breaking in a little bit. Yeah, that's nice. And then, like I said, they got red, green, I think they got black. Uh, they got a nice deep carry clip here, almost ultra deep. So you will not see any of that knife in your pocket. So this is less on the tactical side, which this one falls under. This is more of like a tactical be able to grab the whole thing out of your pocket very fast where this is more of like a EDC this is more EDC oriented with a little bit of tactical uh, minimal hardware you got two there and one under there and then over here you got two and one plus the pivot so it's not bad on the hardware I'm wondering yeah, that's reversible. So this is a reversible, left-handed, friendly knife. Reversible clip. Uh, I would say for 50 bucks, crossbar lock, uh, a well-treated D2 blade, which studies and observation group, they cryo-treat it, which is like an extra step or two when heat treating. So it should just make it that much better. Um, I know their cryo treated XHP is awesome. Uh, this knife has held up very well and I've beat the hell out of it. Because when I first got this SOG, I really wanted to see what it was. they were capable of doing. Because I know the ones I used to have were not, you know, they was a good knife just in case you needed a knife but now they make knives where you can take it almost anywhere and put it up against anything and it's gonna hold up uh but i would say this is a pretty good 50 dollars spent can't really complain about anything it's comfortable you can get a good squeeze on it. I have pretty good size hands and my whole hand fits on there. Even spread out a little bit, I still fit nice. You can choke up here, 
not all the way, I wouldn't say, because you will be on the edge, but you can get up there with somewhat of some control. I do a lot of cutting like this anyway, even if this was a full finger choil, I, I do a lot of cutting like this, so, uh, or I'm back here with a lot of power type of deal, cutting something that's very tough to cut. Uh, but I would say SOG is on the right path. Um, I might as well use this. I have another box off screen here that I'm not even going to bother putting on screen. I might as well just... I ordered... I've had a pack of these before. They're pretty cheap. They're like six bucks. Uh, they aren't Weeha bits, but... They hold, they've held up well. I have some Weeha bits and then I wanted, they come with this little tray. So I wanted a kit like this to throw in my backpack. Uh, they've held up so far and I have some Lexavon stuff that I've used on my truck. And so far they work pretty good. So I'm going to keep on testing them out. And we'll see. And I got one of these for my generator to go from my generator. One of the extension cords that will get plugged into. And then give me three outlets from that. But that's for another video. But yeah, these aren't Wee Hobbits, no. But they're also, you can also get like three of these for the price of the Wee Hobbits. And in a quick, I think they might have even had like a little deal going on on these. But I'll get them out quick and then get out of here. They come with a nice little bit holder. Everything's labeled. So this is a nice little set to like throw in your bag or pouch or whatever. Just so you have your 6, 8, 10, 15. Uh, like I said, mine, my, even my 6. That one's still going strong. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But that is the video on... The SOG Terminus, $50 on Amazon. You can't beat that. Alright guys, if you have any comments or concerns, leave them down below. If you are still watching and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, ring the bell notification, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Have a good night guys.